On Tuesday, August 27th, Pikeville Elementary students were given a gift from the city that also serves an educational purpose. As part of the Pikeville 200 project, a historical coloring book was created by local artist Chris Epling and the Pikeville Housing Authority and then was distributed to students at the school. Members of the Pikeville 200 committee were also in attendance to speak with the students. Well, the Pikeville 200 team, we wanted to make sure that everybody, adults and children, could could be involved with the bicentennial. And I know that um, a lot of our younger generation, you know, they're really not up to date on, on the history of the past 200 years. So this was a great opportunity to compile 200 years in a short format uh, and make it something that they could interact with. So, so that was the goal was to, you know, um, get our younger people interested in the history of Pikeville. It was so heartwarming to see their enthusiasm. They quickly grabbed the book and looked through it and some could recognize some things and it was really, really exciting. So there's been a good, um, good reaction to the coloring book. So we're really, really grateful for that. Back to school comes with a lot of expense, but you can still sport a brand new iPhone 13 from Appalachian Wireless for one penny with a two-year contract on the mix and match or unlimited plan. iPhone 13 for a penny. That's easy math. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Education was a top priority for those who founded and built upon the city in its early years. Faculty at Pikeville Elementary are glad to give their students something they can interact with that teaches the historical significance of Pikeville. It is really exciting to share with their students how special the community is here and to have a coloring book that shares the history, something tangible that the students can actually look at and it brings all of the history to life. Our hope is that our students always understand how special it is to live in this community and how special it is to be a part of the rich tradition of excellence that was uh, set forth by many leaders in our community and many events that took place over the last 200 years. And in doing this, they, they are able to understand the rich tradition of excellence in both our city and our schools. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.